Welcome to C-Sharp for daily use. Today we will take a look at the easiest way to protect a program that works with sensitive data from unauthorized access. One way would be to have security cameras and at least two policemen in case one of them falls asleep. The other possibility would be to build a login system that opens the main window only with the correct password. If you are interested I wish you a lot of fun with this video. If you already use two officers and security cameras that is of course also okay for me. Now let's create a fresh Visual Studio project for our example. We use Visual Studio 2022 for this example. If you need help with the first steps or installation check out my basic tutorial for C Sharp to get an overview and start point. So let's start. It looks like you decided against the two officers and cameras. We will first create a main form which we will use as our secret program which will not be available for everybody. In the next step we will create a second form which we will use as the login. Finally, we will create the actual code that will protect our program with a password. To improve the look a bit I use a Nugent package for a metro style in this application. But that's not needed for the function. I will speed up the creation of the layout for the main and login form a bit. You can create your own layout here depending on your preferences. Now that we have created a very important and top secret program, it is time to create a login form. Also here I will increase the speed of it. I have linked you in the video description the tool which I use very often to find icons. Also the icons that I used in this tool are from there. Now that the main and login form are ready, we can create the actual code. First we declare a few variables and set them to public to be able to reach them later from another side. We also declare our login data as constants.
Now we can create the code for the actual login button. It will be in basically a simple comparison of the entered data with the constants in the code. In the form underscore closing event, the event that is executed shortly before the login form is closed, we decide whether the login was successful or not and set the variables correctly. Finally, we make a few changes in the code of the program class. This class is executed first when the program is started and normally starts our main form, Form 1. By an adjustment we will prevent this and show our login form before until the variables are set to the correct values and we are sure that the login was successful.
so we have our main form protected by a login. To hide the password entry, for example if someone is sitting behind you, you can make a simple change in the text box control. After that you will not see your input and you can use it safely. Feel free to use this in your own applications and keep coding. Thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment with ideas, wishes, or improvements for further content. If you like my videos, I would be happy about a like for the video. If you want to support me further and not miss any videos, just subscribe to my channel.